Hi guys, short video here about what you can do when you install a new graphics card like the new MSI 5070 and the screen stays black. I mean everything is properly connected and you turn the PC on and there's just black screen. When you google for that there are a lot of different possible solutions and of course usually it's not worth to make a video about that in these days but i still wanted to make a short video here in case you still got a little bit lost there are some disappointing things i've tried to find the right solution with normal google or also ai and it was sometimes quite difficult especially ai showed me the right solution or I would say the most likely solution only on place 5 where a lot of people probably get exhausted they start with the first possible cause and then the second one third one fourth one and a lot probably will give up so I wanted to show you what's most likely the problem I mean of course this can be causes of failure but I would say in 90% of the cases it's probably just a wrong driver or actually no driver installed which was the case with the MSI 5070 so what I recommend to do so that's the thing here here with Google they show it at number three but they don't show how this works if you are not experienced you have to know that you can always use the HDMI port of the motherboard when the dedicated video port on the graphics card is not working. So just switch the cable and try to connect the monitor to the motherboard where you have usually your built-in graphics card with a port. A lot of people forget that this still exists. So that's the solution basically which we are using since 30 years has usually always been working and then you have normal access to your Windows system. Of course you can't play advanced games through this built-in graphics card but there you can access the homepage of your graphics card provider. For example Nvidia, go to the website, download the app or if you have it pre-installed already the app usually will detect your new graphics card and already show you that you have an outdated driver or actually no driver at all. Then you can update, reboot the system, switch the cable then to the dedicated port of the graphics card again and it should work. Yeah, it's quite disappointing to see that these days this can still happen. Usually you would expect that in 2025 you can install a graphics card and at least it would work with some default graphic drivers. It has been usually the case in the past. I don't know what they did. Maybe they just forgot something or they did something wrong. I don't know. But since this happened just yesterday with our son's new expensive graphics card. So I thought this could be a current thing and a lot of people may be looking for a solution. So it could be very easy actually. Even though in some rare cases there could be some other things of course. Yeah, I want to keep this as short as possible. So I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your own situation, what has happened and how you solved that, especially regarding this graphics card, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.